Welcome to Evaluating Expression in Assembly X86. In this tutorial, we will be evaluating the following expression. So this is the expression we're going to be evaluating. And the way we will evaluate it is that we will be adding the first part of the expression together. And then we will add the second part of the expression. Then we will find the difference, meaning we will subtract these two, ex these two expressions from each other. Like any other languages, we need to declare our variables using a type, and that's exactly what I'm doing in here under that data. Since we have four different numbers, we need four different variables. I have called them num1 through 4, and here I am declaring them using dboard, which pretty much means that the size of the target operand is 32 bit. So my num1 is a dword and it's initialized with 2, num2 dword again initialized with 6, num3 dword initialized with 1, and num4 is also a dword and it's initialized with 3. And um, it is stated in the expression up here, as we can see all of these numbers match what we have initialized and declared down here. Now I need a variable of the same size to save the result and that's why I declared this right over here. I will be saving the result in variable x exp result and this is declared as d word as well. The question mark here means that it is not initialized and for exp result to have a value we need to evaluate the expression first in other words we need to run the program so this was all the information under that data now we're going to go under dot code and this is where the actual program and main procedure will begin so as i mentioned we will be adding the expression separately and then we will find the difference in between. And to do that, we will move our first variable, which is 2, to EAX, and next we'll add our second variable, num2, which is 6, to EAX. Note, I'm using EAX because I use D word or double word up here. Had I used word instead, then this would have been AX instead of EAX. If you need to refresh your mind on registers and sizes, I am putting an introduction to assembly language video in description. And in that video, you can see the difference, um, the different data sizes at minute marker 3 minutes and 40 seconds. And I talk about the registers starting on minute marker 8 minutes and 36 seconds. Anyways, uh, moving on, the first part of our expression is done, and now we will be adding the second part of our expression, which is 1 plus 3. So to do that, we will move the third variable, which is 1, to EBX. I'm using EBX because we've already used EAX for operator add. So here we will add our fourth and last variable, which is 3, to EBX. And now at this point, we will subtract what is inside the EBX from our EAX. And now I will move the EXP result to EAX and we will start invoking to exit the program. Okay, now let's run this program. Let's go line by line and find out what happens. I just put a breakpoint in here. It's very easy. You can just click it off or click it back in and that's where um, it's going to show us line by line what happens in registers and in the memory. So let's go ahead and run this program right now having the breakpoint right over here. We're just going to go to local Windows debugger and over here is my registers and I can't see my memory so all I have to do is just go to debug window and we're going to go down to memory so I can choose one of these windows and um, either one of them will work. And right now this is what's happening in the memory but what I want to do I want to go to the address where the exp result is so all I have to do is I'm going to use the ampersand and type exp result. So you may not see any changes right now, but then as, as we're going through the program, you're gonna see the change. Now, let's take a look over here. The EAX over here right now has got some values in there, but let's go ahead and move to the next line and see how this line is gonna make changes into our register and our memory. So I'm gonna do F11 right now. Going to the next line, what this did, it added 2 to EAX. So right now we have 2 in our EAX. Let's do one more. Now, 6 is added to that 2, so the EAX is going to show 8. Now we're going to do one more. Now EBX has 1, and that's what it should show in here. 
And we'll do one more F11, and our EBX should have 4 now since 1 plus 3 is 4. And now at this point, we're going to subtract these two from each other. So we have 8 minus 4, which is 4. So EXE is now 4 in there. And then we're going to do one more. And we're going to see 4 in our memory. Now let's look at this watch window right now. If I type in my variable EXP result in here and say, OK, I should see 4 for the value as well. And sure enough, 4 is printed here. Um, and we're done evaluating the expression. This will conclude this video. I hope this helped you better understand evaluating an expression in assembly.